Yeah, I'd say maintain a pretty healthy diet. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but for the most part, I try to like eat fruits and vegetables and whole grains and stuff. And I don't really eat a lot of processed food or takeout or anything like that. I try to do a lot of my own cooking. So yeah, I feel better when I eat healthy. Um, and I guess health is pretty important to me. Um, I think it's important, but I fail to maintain a healthy diet. My diet usually consists of a lot of frozen pre-made meals, um, almost anything that's easy, microwave, quick in the oven. Well, I'm vegan, so no animal products. I don't like salads, I don't like fruit, really, um, so I eat a lot of, a lot of cooked vegetables, I guess you could say, a lot of like whole grains like oatmeal and rice and stuff like that. I eat a lot of pasta, a lot of potatoes. I eat a lot of beans, a lot of beans. I think the, the main benefit of eating frozen or pre-made meals is the convenience factor. Um, you don't have to kind of like do any prep to make it in advance. Um, you can just make it right when you get hungry. After, I don't want to make something after being in class all day or working all day. It's pretty important that I cook in order to maintain this. I think it would be very nearly impossible to eat really healthy and not do a lot of cooking for myself and especially because of my dietary restrictions I can't just go out to the store and like get some like healthy vegan meal like easily and affordably you know and also I mean a lot of the food that I could actually go out and buy would be processed if it was like stuff that I could have instantly that wouldn't require any cooking um, so yeah I, I don't think it would really be possible to maintain as healthy of a diet without doing a fair amount of cooking. Uh, the drawbacks of easy eating a lot of frozen or pre-made meals is the diet aspect of it as they're not always the healthiest. Um, but I think right now for how I live, it's doing just good. Right now I'm content to where I'm at, but like when I, after I graduate, when I go home, I do hope to explore more cooking rather than just using frozen or pre-made meals. Uh, I find that cooking is a really grounding activity for me. I definitely encourage people to cook for themselves because, well, for one, the obvious thing is that you're going to save a lot of money. You're not going to save a lot of time, but you are going to save a lot of money cooking for yourself. It is cheaper. Um, it's skills you're going to use later in life when you're not living on a college campus where you can just walk five minutes to, you know, like Lloyd's or whatever, then you're going to need, you're going to need to know how to cook for yourself if you want to have anything close to a healthy diet.